Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kim Barrett Show. I am your host, Kim Barrett. And on today's episode, we are joined by Tim Redmond. Now, if you're someone who's had your business on your back, where it's been weighing you down and you've been like, there must be a better way for me to be able to grow my business and step out of here. Tim is the man for you. Today, we dive into that and a whole lot more. And of course, we can never help you grow your marketing to help you grow your business. Head over to our free Facebook group where every Wednesday you've got free live training which is over at www.joinmygroup.com.au. But until then, let's jump into the show. Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you making the time. This is great. Hey, this is the Kim and Tim team here today. Uh, K and so I like it. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, I always like to start the podcast off the same way every time, Tim, which is if I met you at a party and we were just chatting and I said to you, what is it that you actually do? What's your go-to answer? That's, a, that's such a great question. So, uh, I take people who are uh, feel like they're a slave to their business and uh, I reverse that curse and get them get their business working for them. So, you know, that's that's in, in short what we do. I was just I was just talking to a plumber today and uh, he's been a plum, he's been a uh, client for a couple of years. I ran into him. He was making about three to five thousand dollars a month and barely be able to support his uh, family. He's now making between 40 to $50,000 a month. And it's like, you know, uh, the business is working for him. He sends us pictures with, with him on vacation. He says, I'm making money. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what, you know, we get, you know, that's the design. So, you know, I just, I, I, I want to, I'm going to get the monkey off your back, the business off your back. And uh, bowing down and, and, and ready to serve you as the owner. So that's what I do. Amazing. And so I'd love to know a little bit of the origin story. So from the sounds of it, I've got my, my assumption would be is like, did you have a big monkey on your back at one point in time that you had to oh, get off? Jesus. How Are did you, you get into me? it all? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, believe it or not, I am a, um, in America, they call it a CPA. And uh, that, that stands for uh, constant pain in the abdomen. OK, so uh, but I work for uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers and uh, they do accounting. They're down under, don't they? No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Uh, you guys are way far advanced than us in so many things here, uh, including looks. All you guys are so good looking. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know. I don't know about if people listen to the audio. That's a, probably a blatant lie. I always get told I have a face. For, <laughs> I get a, I get told I have a face for radio. So uh, <laughs> no, quite, quite the contrary. So um, the specifics of uh, what we do is just is so fun because we break down the business from uh, their marketing, the marketing, I'm trying to say that the right way here, uh, the sales, the hiring, the training, the um, numbers, the cash flow. We just, we just make all that make sense. And uh, it really is getting the monkey out the back. But yeah, I, as, a, as an accountant, you know, I priced one of Cooper's working tons of hours and I grew a software company to about uh, from two of us to over 400, we sold it to Intuit, which is the makers of uh, Quick and QuickBooks. I don't know if they do that down in Australia. Quick QuickBooks is that big yeah, down there? QuickBooks and okay. and Zero are probably the two biggest yeah. ones, I think. Yeah, so that's the company that bought us. And then I went traveling around the world, uh, started a nonprofit, and uh, yelling at whoever would pay me, or sometimes they'd throw stuff at me, but uh, on leadership and growth, and then. Uh, I got into the I got into the coaching just because uh, people would uh, ask me, "Hey, do you do coaching after a seminar?" And I go, "Well, you know, what's your question?" I'd spend an hour with them sometimes, not realizing that people people build a business around this. People get paid a lot of money for this. So I just I, I quit traveling so much and uh, grew a, a coaching business, and it's it's been a blast. But yeah, it's definitely been a monkey on my back. And now I've designed my coaching business where I've got a lot of employees, 
They're phenomenal. They're, they own it. They stream ownership on their stuff. And um, so it really gives me a lot of freedom to chase my wife around crazy places and, uh, and buy businesses instead of just coaching them. So I like to do a lot of that stuff. I love that. I, I, I'd love to delve into some of the coaching and examples and, and clients you've worked with, but purely out of curiosity, because I know we do have a lot of coaches on here as well. What's, oh, what, excellent. What, does, what, what does the structure of your team look like for like for delivering uh, like obviously high level coaching to um, a range yeah. and a, a lot of business owners? What does that structure look like for you? Well, we, we have a coaching pathway. And so we have a, we have a sales team, we have a coaching team and uh, we've all been, you know, I was all of the above and my son who runs the operation, COO of the operation, we've done everything. And, uh, but now we're getting, as we get a little bit bigger, we're getting more specialized in it. So we start out with a client of giving them based on what we call their growth plan. So we'll, identify, you know, where they are, where they want to be, what their obstacles are, what their challenges are, what their market looks like. And then we build a, a three-month coaching pathway for them. And we're a, we're a coaching. I used to coach by saying, do these three things or these seven things, get together with them next week. And did you do anything? No, you know, and they're, they start every day with their hair on fire and they're trying to survive to the end of the day, you know? And so, so I, I've created this implementation. We're a do it for you coaching company that and we show them the blueprint and then we say, OK, let us do most of the work in implementing that blueprint. So that's that's kind of what we do. And we'll yes. we'll do even, uh, you know, all the digital marketing. We'll build a website and get their SEO. We just I, I built out a whole team to handle all that. So nice. So you've got so a sales team coaching team and then like uh, imp- is that is the coach do the coaches do the implement coaches implementation implement. yeah yeah the coaches implement now we've got specialists on seo we got spe- you know, graphic designers we've got uh web web builders here and so you know we we have very specific um input forms that that minimize the the, the guesswork so we can kick out a product quick. We're racing the clock. And, uh, you know, if we go back and forth here, boom, you know, we, we fall behind on that. So we, we got real clear communications on who does what and how to communicate it, how to document it. Then uh, we, you know, we meet with a client on a weekly basis, either through a group coaching call or through your, uh, we have a designated coach that will uh, assign every client has a, a designated coach. And so, you know, we, we meet a few times a week, a month on that, and then they can meet with a coach as many times as they want um, uh, beyond those meetings, just by scheduling a, a what we call a folk, a laser focus call, single issue, get it done up and down, boom, but they have access to everybody. I just had uh, a couple of, uh, couple of those uh, invites came into me. So people have access to the CEO whenever they want and uh, do a 20 minute talk. So um, it just, you know, we all jump in there, but we all own our own portfolio of clients too. Mm. That's awesome. Um, is, is that helpful there? Yeah. I think that's I think, helpful. Yeah. Cause I know there's a lot and like, uh, there's a lot of uh, questions that we sometimes see come through where it's like, Oh, like how should I structure my coaching business? And like, what sort of teams do I need and things like that? So I'm always curious as um as to as to how people facilitate that as well. So that's now, now that's here's something interesting, Kim. How did I get to my first hundred clients? Okay, mm-hmm. the people that hear this, they're going to either laugh at me or weep. Okay, I built the first hundred clients through cold calling, and you look up in these history books here and these artifacts of what cold calling is. And uh, we, I had my team uh, making at one time, we were making 5,400 calls a week. All right. I just stacked up a bunch of people and we were, we created a robust coaching company. I mean, it's prof, highly profitable coaching company, had a hundred clients and uh, we had a 99%, 99.75% rejection rate. So 
So maybe these people don't want to listen to me. You know, like, <laughs> like, like that's dumb and dumber. There's a whole documentary movie built around your coaching program, but you know, we, we learn it. And, and I actually, I actually found that I, I weeded out the folks that would really be good coaches is can they put their emotions down and, and master doing something they didn't want to do because that's what you're asking your clients to do stuff they don't want to do, you know? So anyway, I hope I'm not talking too much on that stuff. No, no, that's perfect. Cause it's, I actually did like a, uh, we have a Facebook group and I did a live video in there this morning talking about getting the the repetition in. I bet you at the end of that many calls doing that consistently over time, they would be phenomenal uh, at coaching and, and sales after doing that many reps. (laughs) Yeah, it it, it was now. uh, And imagine uh, like when I go in and I, I go, I'll look at the call management, uh, the call team and they're like on a snail's pace to go nowhere. You know, like the high of 20 calls a day, 20 calls a freaking day. What are you talking about here? You know, we had minimum of 150 calls a day. We had one guy, <laughs> he would consistently do over 400 calls. He was a top sales guy, but he had a personality of a doorknob. I mean, it was as interesting as talking to a doorknob, you know, but he just was persistent with it. Just followed the script and then boom, it, it worked for him. So, yeah, I, I love that. I think that's, it's, it's, it's hugely important. It's, it is tough, but it's, uh, you you learn a lot by doing something like that. That's for sure. Are you questioning that you even why you have me on your show now? I hope you're not wanting to kick me off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. You're reaffirming all the things that I tell everyone. So I love it. I love yeah, it. Good. It's um good. and now uh, like I would love to know. Obviously, like you mentioned before, uh, the plumber, and I'm sure there's a, a suite of other businesses and industries that yeah. you work with. When someone comes to you like that, where they're at that, you know couple great like 5k a month which in australia is like probably closer to 10k a month um and they, they're ticking along but they're not really getting anywhere like what are the first things that you look at uh to assess like what areas you need to focus on over that really three months? good really good so we build we build the foundation of the growth on there's financial capital but there's another kind of capital that spends just as well or better and most people already have already earned this capital, and that's called reputation capital. So we will um, we'll really tap into the uh, reviews and and really making them visible on the internet, not by what they're saying. It's like an ancient proverb said, well, it comes from the Bible. I quote a lot from the Bible, and I'm not trying to shove anything down anybody's throat, Sarah, but but it's like uh, it's a, there's one proverb that says, don't praise yourself, let others do it for you. And so one of the first things we do is we optimize the Google My Business listing, and then uh, uh, we will go after all their clients and their vendors and even their friends, their ex-boyfriends and girlfriends, if they'll allow us, anybody on that list to say, do you know this person is a person of character? Uh, most of the people we go after are contractors. Uh, they build, they build houses. They they re, they remodel. They're plumbers. They're electricians. HVAC. They do. They install pools. They do all that kind of contracting work. And if you ask Kim, if you ask almost any one of these soccer moms or any one of these housewives, you know who's the most untrustworthy person? Is like, oh, these contractors. They come in and just want to rip me off. So if, if you get if you get like a hundred people saying, you know what, Kim is a decent person, you know, boom, check them out. I mean, that's why we, you know, even we 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 take our own medicine. So if you look up Redmond Growth Consulting and you type in uh, USA or Tulsa, um, you'll see that we've got over four hundred Google reviews, and these are from actual clients that said, you know what, these guys are not near. I mean, they're, they're a lot smarter than they look and they, and they really help us out in practical ways. And so, you know, that, that's what you want to do is, is we start with what they've already got. They've already got a reputation, but it's private. We got to make that public. And then we'll, we'll review their pricing. And usually they're stuck from seven or 10 or 15 years ago on their pricing. Um, 
Uh, a lot of times they don't know how to, they don't know how to package. Imagine this electrician is, is billing out for a buck and a half an hour, 150 bucks an hour. And what, whatever the Australian terms are on that, you know, it's, it's probably the same $150 an hour in Australia, which is a little bit less than us by 30% or so. But, but anyway, so, and here they are taking every phone call. They're taking a call that a 12 buck an hour person can handle for them. And so we'll write the script for them to hire somebody and we'll give them the script says, here's how you answer. Yeah, but they want to have a technical person to answer their questions. Well, set up an appointment, get an appointment where you show up at their place and you'll close 90% of those guys, you know, stop wasting $12 an hour stuff when you're, when you're working on $150 an hour activities. So, we, you know, those are some of the things. Is that, is that enough detail or is that? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's great. And it's uh, because I think, as you say, it's, it's always interesting. And like, I'd, I'd love to know as well, why do you think that they tip over to look for a coach specifically? Because obviously, as you said, like, obviously you guys do more than just coaching because you're doing implementation as well. Right. But if they're, why do you think people come to you guys as a coach rather than just going to get the, uh, the digital marketing team or just going to get the, uh, you know, the next, another, another, tr- another, we call them tradies in Australia, another contractor on board or something like that. Like, what do you think it is that makes people um, want coaching? Well, I, I tell you um, a lot of times we're the third, the fifth or the seventh choice. And they're almost yelling at us and says, I wasted my money on seven different marketers. You guys are, I, I, you know, l- l- listen, First of all, sir, sir, put your shorts on. It, it looks ugly. You know, it's, you're, you're not looking good. Put your shorts back on, number one. And number two is you called us. So don't yell at us. Just ask us questions. And, and, uh, and here's a really good thing. You can go just with this, Kim. And you can say you came up with it yourself. I like to say that casualness creates casualties. So we go through the... the uh, we're, we're going through the review, the growth plan. And well, we do that. We do that. Well, you do it half-assed. That's why you're getting half-assed results. It requires a full-ass effort to get full-ass results, you know? So, you know, we say, listen, the way, the reason you're getting this result is because, you know, you just had some nincompoop take a bunch of your money and they're just throwing it into Google and the Google uh, ads and sure you'll get people that call you, but will they buy? Are you spending money? And one guy is actually, he came on board and the first two months being with us, I jumped on our coach with this. He says, yeah, he's spending $3,000 a month on Google AdWords. I go, well, what, you know, what kind of response is he getting from that? Well, he hadn't got one sale from it. And I'm saying, you're the coach. What in God's name are you? Okay, so how many leads has he? Well, you haven't gotten any leads yet. I said, stop that nonsense like today. You know, let's let's put a let's pour an order in that we're going to stop that last week at least. You know, so we, you know, when coaching is you don't have all the answers, but you've got to respond quickly. It says what's working, what's not working, and uh, and so. You know, a lot of a lot of folks will. I mean, they look at our ads and they seem legitimate. What what a lot of people do, Kim, God's honest truth is, had one guy that came in. Uh, we're we're redoing our whole backyard, and uh, it's a love gift to my wife here. And um, she's not on the phone here, so we're not on the Zoom call. So it doesn't do me any good to say that to anybody. So I was wanting to get brownie points, but oh well. But anyway, so we had this uh, landscape architect come in here and uh, charges a pretty penny, but he's going to give us a 3D rendering and this and that. And $3,800 is like, God, just for the plans, you know, I can draw that. So, uh, but he says, you know, I know who you are and I've watched your videos, of, you know, and these are videos of testimonials of people. And I've read some of your reviews and uh, I know who you are and I really need to talk to you. I'm like, we need to talk to you about you doing you know, our design here. Don't, you know, don't get off track. So it, it really has a lot to do with your reputation markings. What are other people saying about you 
And if you have enough people in the room saying, you know what, Kim is not just this good looking guy here, but he's got a brain and he'll kick you in the ass in a way that gets you going, man. He gets results here. You know, you get, you get a hundred people saying that and that's, that's been clinically proven to be better than a poke in the eye, you know? So just reading the studies, I'm just, I'm just kidding on that, but you know, so uh, it makes, it makes, it makes sense. And it's, as you yeah. say, it's something that a lot of people overlook and it's, uh, I don't know if it's because, as you say, even even though when some people have phenomenal testimonials, sometimes they or case studies or anything, they still seem to not want to share it because it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to have someone all these good things out there about me. I don't know what it is with people, but uh, sometimes it's still hard to twist their arm to even get them to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I used to be against myself, too. And uh, it's a lot tougher in life when I'm fighting against myself because there's enough other things that fly a hit in the fan, you know, so stop, stop being against yourself and be for yourself. You know, don't, don't make a promise you can't keep, but you know, talk, talk a big game because you can play a big game. That's what I like to tell people. I mean, I, I've got this guy, he's uh, 67 years old and he was doing about a hundred thousand dollars. He makes sheds for people. Sheds is the thing you put up in your backyard. You put your lawnmower and you fill it up with crap that you don't want to look at, you know, in your garage. And uh, so he had about a hundred thousand dollars a month business and he was cranking out 5% profit. I'm saying like, you're, you're working for just about labor rate. What's going on with that? And uh, so now we, we, we've got him up to about $600,000 a month and he's consistently hit between 15 and 20% profit. Okay. And you think, well, what do I say? So he has completely changed his mind in his whole approach on life. There's so many people that why do you need a coach? Well, a coach is going to help you play a better game. That's why the best people in the world get coaches. We've got four coaching organizations helping us right now as I speak. You know, aren't I a good coach? Yeah, we're a good coaching organization, but the best get better because they get experts in, in, in very specific areas. And so um, why should they get a coach? Well, they call Kim Barrett, then they're going to play a better game. This guy is actually starting to think uh, he was just thinking about survival. And now he's thinking about leaving a legacy for his grandkids. And it's like, you know, I'm talking to him on the phone. I'm almost crying hearing his story. It's like, these are real people that we're creating a real future for. That's, I mean, I get up early in the morning just for that. Yeah, hundred percent. I love that. I think that's so important. Now, um, Tim, I always like to ask the same questions. Why, well, as we get towards the end of our time together, being yeah. Yeah. is there is there a question that I haven't asked you that I should have? <laughs> oh, geez. Um, uh, what is one of the most powerful attributes one can embrace let's let's hear it i mean that's the question i'm asking you then one word one word gratefulness live your life grateful so i used to be at war with the world okay and i have to watch that i used to be a wrestler in the state i don't know if they have wrestling down under but uh you guys were founded with a bunch of people that were pretty riley here. I think they <laughs> like wrestling, but anyway. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm in a fight and so I have to watch that. I'm, that I'm uh, not at war with people. You know, I'm, I'm there with a solution and I want to try to find people who are asking the questions that I can answer, you know? And uh, so, and that's what marketing is. And, and so, you know, I have found that when I just focus on gratitude, I know it just sounds so simple, but it's just a competitive advantage that's not fair. It puts me in a position that even horrible things that are done against me, and I can, I've got a whole list of different things I've had to overcome, that, that I'm grateful, not because they happened to me, but I'm grateful for what it taught me. I'm grateful for the role, for the tutor job that it's doing. 
And when you're grateful, you're more fun to work with. When you're grateful, people actually want to hang out with you more. It's like, gosh, I don't have any friends. Will you ungrateful SOB change a thing or two? You know, I shouldn't say I'm talking to myself there. Um, so, you know, that's one. Just, just be great. When in doubt, just be grateful. Have a great uh, gratitude journal. My wife and I have devotions in the morning and we just, a lot of times we'll say, Hey, what are we grateful for? And, um, you know, so it's, if we just start the day, right. It's, it's really huge. It's so awesome. simple, but it's so powerful. Yeah. No, that's uh, amazing. And now Tim, if anyone's been listening to us talk today or watching us and they've said, I really like what Tim has been talking about and they want to find out more about what you guys are up to. Where's the best place for them to go online to find you guys? Okay. So uh, our, our website, redmondgrowth.com. And uh, what, I, what I like to do is anybody that uh, if they, if they want this, um, if they leave a five-star review for Kim, uh, for Kim Parrott, Barrett's uh, uh, podcast, they, they gotta, they gotta like, there's got to be love to Kim. And if they don't do that, they won't get it. But we do what we call a growth plan. That is, uh, we analyze their business strengths and weaknesses, where they're at, where they're going to be in three years. And then we will build an, a, a, a concrete action items towards that. We'll even build in the first set coaching session, we'll build a business model that will be based on capacity and not market response, which is, it just completely changes your whole approach on it. We normally charge $1,500 for this, but if they will email me, Tim at Redmond Growth, or find me on some poster in the, you know, in the post office or, or wherever they find me. And if they, they say, hey, I'm with Kim Barrett's show, love the guy, what about your growth plan? They got to one, they got to have an actual business. But two, if they mention you, we will drop, we'll waive that $2,500 fee. And usually what happens is with that growth plan, what we lay out should easily generate an additional $100,000 of profit in their business in the next 12 months. That's why we charge the $2,500. Wave, completely waived. Uh, goodbye on that. It's done for free if they identify themselves with you. So is that, is that cool? Talk that's, that? uh, absolutely cool. I sh I'm sure everyone will be loving that. So thank you so much for Tim, for that, yeah. Tim. I really appreciate it. And guys, wherever you're uh, watching um, above or below in the show notes, we'll have a link to, I uh, will have Tim's email and a link to his website there as well. So you can um, jump on if you want to connect with him about that. That's uh, really amazing. And of course, if you know anyone that is in business that maybe they've had that monkey on their back, uh, with their com with their company and business before, and they have been you know struggling to look at you know the next pass forward and trying to identify that. Please do share this episode with them so they can hear some of um, Tim's wisdom here with us today as well. So Tim, again, I really appreciate you making the time to jump on with us, and uh, it's been great yeah. to have you. Thank you, thank you so much, Kim. Thank Bless you so much. Appreciate it, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, very good.